Aristotle and his contributions to the field of philosophy and education are of great importance. He was actually the founder of scientific method and uh, he has contributed a lot to the philosophy and uh, education and sciences uh, in a very different manner than it was being done before. How? Number one, he is considered the first real scientist. He is the first one who was a real scientist. Aristotle was the first person who could be a real scientist because he had to be practically on the existing world, par, the world of matter, ke upar, jo ke a zahiri dunya hai, physical objects, ke upar, sciences, ke upar, wo Aristotle was the work of Aristotle. Analyzed, defined and classified the major branches of knowledge. He has analyzed kiya or classify kiya major branches of knowledge ki knowledge ko divide kiya knowledge ko classify kiya different areas ke andar jisme different subjects hain jisme different domains hain jinko hum study karte hain and laid the foundations for modern science and philosophy aur aaj ki jo modern science hai aur falsafa hai uski buniyad rakhi aristotle uh, has also contributed uh, towards science by making its major divisions. Science ki major divisions unhone banai jin mein pehli thi productive sciences phir practical sciences or theoretical sciences. Now productive sciences are that you make something productive out of it. Ab ye dekhiye ke the world of physical objects the, the real world exist independent of human mind. But yes then how to make it productive? How to develop something uh, from a chemical that can uh, save someone who is dying of a disease is a part of productive sciences. And then practical sciences, sciences that practically uh, help us in living in the society and world like philosophy, like uh, psychology, like political science, political thought around and working on different dilemmas that we face every day. And then theoretical science. In theoretical sciences may uh, that when you are indulged into contemplation and thinking that you think and through thinking that you resolve issues and contribute towards the society and mankind. And then he was a major contributor to the university curricula. University ka jo nisab tha, usko ek major contribution Aristotle le diya. Usme bohat si cheeze shamil ki jo cheeze behtareen curriculum ke taur pe samne aayi aur ek non ek inki kitab hai became most essential part of curriculum in the universities jo ke ek buniyadi aur bahut zaruri hissa ban gayi curriculum ka universities ke andar and then aristotle the aristotle of the schoolmen still determines the studies of the place john locke curriculum Oxford ke curriculum ke baare mein ye kehte hain ke Aristotle uh, uh, jo school ke logon ke liye hai jo university ke logon ke liye hai wo aaj bhi determine karta hai apni jaga samajhne ki padhne ki universities aur schools ke andar yani ek bahut badi baat hai ke Aristotle ka curriculum jo us waqt unhone waza kiya wo aaj bhi working hai universities aur colleges mein and then Aristotle mentioned that education should develop in individuals the knowledge interests, ideals, habits and powers that would help them find their place in society. So, they told them that in the world of education, they have to develop all of them in their place, which will help them in their place, and help them in their place, and help make it even a better place, and make it even a better place, and make it even a better place for living in their lives. Even today, this general definition applies to the purpose of education, and today, the purpose of education is also the purpose of education, usko ye general definition hum us pe apply karte hain aur hum samajhte hain ki education waqatan isi kaam ke liye hai aur isi baat ke liye hai jise aristotle itne saal pehle hame bata chuke hain